Howdy folks, Kiwi here, and welcome back to Analog, a hate story, a safe space in which would be awesome where we're just, uh, you know, going through all these logs and shit, and having, some, having ourselves a good old time. It's a good time to be alive. So, we're gonna read this letter here, letter to Sang Min. Let's see what we got here. Oh, and she doesn't even care. Okay. Oh, dearest brother of mine, as I'm sure you know, it's been three years since my husband died. I still mourn him in my heart. Of course, I'm sure I will forever, but the official mourning period's over. You probably also know that the Huang family isn't... The Huang... Huang... Family isn't doing very well right now. Terribly, in fact, and it only got worse when my husband died. It didn't help that uh, we only had daughters, so we don't exactly have a son to look after me. Right now, I'm completely at the mercy of his parents, and, as I said, no son. They only took me in because of that big dowry. They said, uh, they, they sure never liked me, and it's only gotten worse. Way worse. I will not comment on the fact that, uh, you need a son to take care of your mother, even though she's not sick or anything. Just, she's just a woman. So I need you to help me out, Min. Uh, or they're going to just abandon me. Do you remember that story we read together as a child? Remember uh, about that widow who had to turn to begging? I'm sure you remember how it ended. Well, that's going to be me at this rate. I gotta close the window. Hang on. School is letting out in the area, and I don't want to be interrupted or, you know, weird people out with my reading out loud. <laughs> don't worry, though. I have a plan. I've talked to my husband's brother about this, and also I met, uh, I managed to discreetly fish some information out of his parents. They'd be willing to let me get married to him, um, and all you need to do is chip in a new dowry. One and a half times the old one would be enough. <laughs> Please respond as soon as possible, little brother, because I really need your help here. Love, sang he. Okay, I'm going to show you this message, but I don't know what you'll say. See, he wasn't always that bad. It was embarrassment and far from a pinnacle of virtue. Didn't think highly of him, but at the end of the day, it was about politics, not about his character. Yeah, yeah, that's... Alright, fair enough, fair enough. This one you have nothing to say to? Okay. Sister Sanghi, calm down. They may not be nice, but I'm sure they're not going to kick their son's widow out on the street. Do you have any idea how terrible that would look for them? It's... it's they're on a fucking ship. What street? It would be a huge disgrace on their name. Uh, as for remarrying, I'm sorry, but that's a lot of money you're asking. Besides, you know how much remarriage is looked down upon. Uh, chaste widowhood would, uh, may be a difficult standard to hold yourself to, uh, but you will be honored forever if you can manage it, and if anyone is good enough to live up to that standard, I know it's you, big sister. Yeah, I doubt they'd have- I doubt any guy in this sort of world would have a little sister. That doesn't seem like it would happen. As soon as you get a boy, you just stop. I wish I could give uh, you an easier way out, uh, but I hope you realize it's the best that way. Same mean. Oh, generous and benevolent young brother of mine. Uh, I know you think I'm being hysterical and exaggerating. I'm not. I promise it, uh, it's funny you mentioned the importance of chess widowhood because uh, they're talking about that too. Of course, I don't think uh, you've got the same ideas in mind. Uh, they're talking about the sort that ends in an honorable suicide. Actually, they've been talking about it a lot. Uh, I assume... It's along the lines of, hey, why don't you just kill yourself? Which is, uh, you know, not good. We could, of course, go with that option. Uh, take my own life to honor his memory. Would you like to help me out with that? I'm not really very good at either holding knives or ch tying nooses ever since the arthritis got serious. Oh, shit, you are, you are sick then. But if you could help me out, that plan could work. If you're too busy to help your sister kill herself, though, <laughs> that fucking sentence, uh, you could just do the next best thing and send that dowry. I'm sure somehow you'll manage to figure out a way to find the money. I have faith in you, little brother. I remind you again, of course, that appealing to that family's honor is a waste of time. Father married me to a merchant, remember? Uh, you're talking about honor, but trust me, I've lived in this house for over two decades, and I've looked everywhere, even under the sitting cushions. They just don't have any. Is there honor under here? Shit. Fucking, is that honor? No, that's a nickel. Oh, man. God, I'm gonna find some honor somewhere in here. <laughs> so I'm gonna ask you once more, little brother. You can either send a new diary or, failing that, come by with a nice sharp knife. Uh, but if you can't bring yourself to do at least one of those things, then my destitution is on your head. Uh, do you think father would be proud of that? Uh, you are the son. You tell me. With love, your sister saying me. Saying he. That's fucking messed up. Hey, uh, send me an expensive thing or help me kill myself. Your choice. Fuck off. 
Sister, you're going to be the death of me. That, I'm pretty sure it's the other way around. But I won't be the death of you. Ah, there you go. Fine, I'll figure something out. Tell his parents that I can offer them as much as the old diary. I'll send a messenger by next week to work the delivery out of it. Uh, of it. You're such a woman. <laughs> Do you know that? Uh, y yes. Y yeah, I, I, I am a woman. <laughs> Manipulative to the core. That's what you are. The death of me, I swear. Did you not want to, did you not want to, you know, see this message? No, you're still grayed out. I mean, alright, alright. Let's see what else we got in, uh, block fucking nine here. The new bruise. Ooh, okay, sure. Ah, this one you want to see. Um, 321. Uh, Hyung sucks wife. Dearest mother. I really could uh, use your advice. Husband, you know, nameless husband, has been working very late into the night recently on some business that he won't even share with me. I understand his reluctance to talk to me about uh, things his superior has sworn to him on uh, to secrecy on, and that damn child has been keeping me plenty. Oh, excuse me, plenty busy anyway. But I still wish he could tell me. Uh, last night he was out even later than normal, and when he finally did return, he had a black eye. His face and hands bloodied, he looked really bad. The sight of that really scared me, of course. You of all people know that I'm... Hardly squeamish at the sight of blood. It was how hurt he looked. I hurried him to the kitchen and started to clean his wounds. I'll admit my voice wavered when I asked husband what happened. Fucking use names, people. I'm with Hyunai on this one. Fucking use names. He was reluctant to answer and grunted in pain when I convinced him to put ice on his bruised eye. He finally did, and you absolutely can't repeat what he said to me, do you understand? Not a word of it to anyone, not even to father, but I truly need advice. I had some questions for high magistrates for the high magistrate's office. He sent his brother, Smith Sang Q, to answer them. That's the dumb, nasty one, he. My husband trailed off, thinking. Um, I asked him something that he didn't agree with. I had the moral high standing, uh, but he had the physical high standing. His wound's clean. I didn't know what to do, but touched the uninjured part of his face to comfort him. Then he joked. Then he joked. Turns out his argument hurt a whole lot more than mine. <laughs> but I could tell underneath that he was truly hurt. What do I do, mother? How is a woman supposed to respond to such an awful thing happening? I've tried to comfort him as best I can, but I just don't know what else I can do, mother. Oh shit, I thought I saw a fucking spider. Uh, please, you must have some advice. Oh, hey, the light. Uh, that reminds me of something else. Well, you know Hannah, right? The whore who got herself seduced by Sojin? There's not really a lot of writing from her, but I've got a uh, log entry from Kim uh, Hyung Sok about her. You probably want to see it. Alright, well, I'll let you get back to it then. But I figured that's some probably something you're pretty interested in. I'm just interested in fucking... I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Go to block 9. Anything new? Oh, there sure is. The new bride. Oh. <laughs> Anything new? Yeah, there's a new bride here. The incident occurred right as I was leaving the magistrate's office. After a late night of going through some of his paperwork, the corridor lights had long ago dimmed and the office should have been empty, so the horror slinked against the wall right outside definitely stood out. I, my brain stopped there. Uh, she was small and, you know, this game has that effect on people. <laughs> She was small and looked very young, and obviously she was dressed like any commoner, uh, with her arms covering otherwise exposed breasts and all. I won't lie and say she wasn't attractive, she certainly was. I'm sure she's very good at her role. Uh, hi, the whore said, approaching me. You're Kim, uh, Young Suk, right? I said yes. My name is Hannah, she said, offering her hand a shake. It's an honor to meet you. I didn't take it, um, and told her that it wasn't appropriate to be talking to her now. Uh, ah? But I've got a message from Smith Sangmin that uh, he really insisted I deliver, the horse said, moving closer. Uh, can I come inside? I said no, of course. Even then, I could tell exactly where this was going and was not pleased. Please? He was really insistent, she said, putting uh, her hand on my face and smiling. <laughs> face. <laughs> I slapped it away instantly. <laughs> and, sho and shoved her into the wall. Oh, man. Tell him I said no, I snapped at the horror. 
and walked away. She chased after me for a while, but eventually she seemed to realize uh, that she was going to get to me. That she wasn't going to get to me and gave up. She was gone by the time I got home. I still can't believe he actually thought that would work. Now I want uh, want to know more about the High Magistrate's association with that whore even, even was. I mean, yeah, sure. Fuck it. Alright, is there anything... Is there anything new? Uh, no. So let's just go down all of them and see if you have anything to say about any of them. Oh, you sure do. Uh... It's just... Okay, so apparently you have shit to say about this. Well, she admits it's pretty messed up, at least. Sure, she was a lonely old woman, but I don't know, I just don't get it. It's not as if she was wrong. Uh, she's wrong about the whore's looks. I mean, all the men seem to find her really attractive. Well, whatever, I'm repeating myself at this point. Totally don't get it, you get the picture. Anyway, I'll let you get back to reading. I'm pretty sure I've shown all these to you. Um, but you're great out for some, but not great out for others, so... I mean, it's, it's new messages, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Alright, let's see what you have to say with this one. Oh, my feelings are so confused. Yeah, I'll say. Incredibly confused by the sound of it. I guess that's what you'd expect from an uneducated whore, though. Anyway, I'll let you get back to reading. I mean, you have very little to say, apparently, on these topics. And... let's see here. Ah, here we go. Man, how's that for verse? Really? It's not the translation, I assure you. It's not exactly any better than the original in original Korean. Man, can you believe that was actually written by someone who studied poetry for years? Seriously? I mean, it's not terrible. Maybe not, for what it is. Maybe you might find it su uh, successful at being arousing. That's fair enough. But with all due respect, I don't think that's really enough to make a good poem. I mean, I agree with that, but also that's not what I was saying. <laughs> I don't know much about the subject, but I mean, come on. There's a reason why men's poetry is what gets studied and taught, and women's poetry is just used for seduction. You need real sincerity. You need someone who actually understands love. <laughs> what does a society think that women are actually supposed to do, if not literally anything else? It's titillating, sure, but it's crap. Anyway, though, I guess you want to see the other poem that whore wrote for her? Sure. Right, of course. Here, have it. Uh, if you found the last one arousing, well, it's not any good, but I'm sure you'll be entertained at least. Sorry, I can't at least give you one that was meant for a man, though. That's all the whore's poetry for Sojin. She didn't seem to write down the old ones she did for anyone else. Um, so that's all you can get. Go up. Hey, more poetry! Alright! <laughs> Any more to say here? Oh, you even have a conversation plan! Alright, pretty flower, who could plant you, then abandon you in your bed? Each day I... fuck. <laughs> Each day I stop to admire your aroma. Will the gardener mine? Each night I pluck my own petals, but dream of yours in bloom. That sounds very romantic. I have a question. Well, there you have it! That's it the scandalous and sordid tale of the noble wife Sojin and her husband's whore. I keep going back and forth on how to feel about the whole thing. On the one hand, I feel pretty bad for Sojin. It should have really had to sink to her for that. Uh, on the other hand, well, it's not like she didn't still make her decisions for herself. It'd be wrong to just cover it up, right? I respect her, but at the end of the day, she still did do unspeakable things with the whore. I'm just kind of conflicted, especially now that she's long gone. But anyway, so what do you think of all that? It was awful, or it was hot? Uh, neither of these fucking options! Uh, it was awful. I know, right? No matter how you look at it, that's true for sure. Watching a good woman fall like that? Well, you get the idea, I'm sure. Anyway, that's all that I want to keep in mind. Uh, that's all I want you to keep in mind. Stories like that, even the messed up ones. There's a reason why the last one dates to the year 322. It's not that their affair came to a conclusion, it's just that they both died. So yeah, even if it's one hell of a story, it's one that ended completely abruptly. Just remember that, alright? Yeah, I remember that. Fair enough. Sure, screw it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is the end of the story. 
All right, so you had more to say on this one, right? What do you What do you have to say, friend? Man, how's that for verse? It's really not for translation, I assure you. It's not exactly any better than the original Korean. It's actually written by someone who had studied poetry for years. Ah, oh, fuck. And then that's all you had to say on the matter. Let's just go through all of them, see what you have to say. Maybe you don't have anything to say, but let's see anyway. I'm pretty sure I went through all these with you. Yeah, I absolutely did, and you're great out for all of them. So it seems I gotta switch back to Hyun Ai, uh, but I just wanna double check everything, you know? Ooh, you got shit to say here. When our family's in the decline, I want to be perfectly clear why, since sons of the biggest collection of idiots on the entire ship, motion for years. Turning point of this year, at the time I write this, we're returning to the funeral. Noticeably absent from the morning procedures was saying Q. What he was doing, I don't know. Knowing him, I can only guess. The affair was made even more laughable as Sang Min and his widowed mother's insistence that Sang Kyun uh, had died of natural causes. Apparently, they had even found a doctor willing to put such nonsense to the official record. An unmarried noble managing to drink his way into the grave at only 30 years of age would be embarrassing enough to brazenly try and hide the obvious, however. That will mark the beginning of the Smith family's fall. 315. That isn't what Smith Sang Kyun was like at all. His death was a tragedy for a lesser man to make light of it. It's appalling is what it is. I can't believe his nerve. Fine, Sang Hyun uh, never married, and he liked to drink maybe a little more than was good for him. But he was a great man. Clever, charming, filial, and respectful. I... Look, he wasn't perfect. It was damn close as he could get, though. You want to know what uh, he was really like? Don't listen to a single word from the likes of uh, Hyung Sam. It was a more fitting description. Depiction. I've added some logs that actually do him some justice. You should really read them. That's that's all this game is. Talk to the AI until you get more fucking logs. Um, up. Where did you put them, though? Unless, of course, you're referring to this. Okay. And then, of course, I read through these. Um, and then we go down. Pretty sure I read through these. Oh, but you got something here. 19th, great thing. Start of the month. I had no daughter in my family. Generations of branching. Hail bride. Uh, and the inscription on the egg. She was entrusted to her family and weakened during a time of great prosperity. As yet as any man knows, prosperity is seized, not waited on. Ah, oh, yeah, right, right, right. This is, the, uh, this is the one. So, like, you've talked to her a fair bit, right? What do you think of Hun Ai? I don't hate her. I kind of like her. Seriously, you can stand her? Did she tell you about the whole mass murder thing, or did she conveniently leave that out? <sighs> Pretty sure I didn't actually get that information. No, of course not. I'm sure even that awful bitch is ashamed of what she did. Well, maybe she just wanted to impress you. I don't think most men are turned on by that kind of lunacy. So I can see why she'd hide that kind of that that. It's probably better if you don't hear from, it, uh, from me, though. I don't think you'd even uh, believe it better to ask for herself. Okay, so what I'm going to do is give you an entire block that's not, uh, full of nothing but questions for her. Might be a little hard to get the whole story out of her, but if you fake sympathy, she'll probably actually believe you. So there you are, a few questions to give to her, drag the truth out of her, then tell me how crazy you think she is. Sure. Where are the new things? Ah, here they are. Ha <laughs> All right. You know what? I think. Uh, no, the ep oh the episode is over. Okay. Well, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to go to. Uh, oh right, right, right. You have to go through here. Uh, go to the override terminal. Enable underscore AI. Hyun A. 
I am genuinely curious. Alright, but this is where we'll continue the next episode, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. I, of course, have been Kiwi. You've been great, too. And you have yourself a delightful day. Unless there's more, there isn't. Goodbye!